damn uh, Nick is daddy this season. It made me sad that maybe I wasn't daddy in other seasons. What changed? <laughs> Hi, I'm Max Mangella. Hi, I'm Otipek Benley. Hi, I'm Madeline Brewer, and we are some of the cast from The Handmaid's Tale. We're going to ask each other anything. Talk to me. Talk to me. So... You were both bringing daddy energy to the world of June this season. I was wondering how you guys, both of you, feel about each other. I would hate, oh my God, I would hate the other person. But I am a small person and you're probably both very big people. <laughs> um, so it's hard. You know, the thing is, it's hard. Max is such a charming individual, both on screen and in person. You kind of get it. If I was in Luke's position, I would hate Nick because you're raising somebody else's child. There's a lot of reason to feel resentment. That's sort of where my emotional um, allegiance is when I watch the show. Do you want me to meet up with Nick? No, I don't want you to meet with Nick. I think for Nick, it's sort of easier. He's the side piece, right? It's a different emotional position to be in. Try and be happy. You too. All right, Maddie, I got one for you. Yeah. Between the actors you work with, who has the most different process? I mean, what I can tell of Anne's process, she's obviously incredibly thoughtful and very connected to Lydia. And I've worked with Anne previously on an indie film a year before we got cast in The Handmaid's Tale, and her script was just covered in notes. Not an inch of the page without writing on it. Go into the desk in the hallway and get me a pen. I love watching that scene from episode eight of her and I in that cell. She's got drips of tears on her shirt because she's just, ah, uh, she's just weeping. It's the greatest gift, you know, working with Anne Dow. There is no use in being theatrical. I've got a question for OT. OT wrote, directed, starred in, did everything on, I think you were the grip and the DP, on a show called Max on Hulu that was phenomenal. Got rhythm. When are you going to make something again for us? Yes, the show Max, which which in the, in a way was an honor to our own wonderful Max Minghella. Um Because <laughs> he's playing a total douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Max directed a movie before I made my show. And so my pattern is you do something, it inspires me to do something. So I'm kind of waiting on you, homie. Oh, like, okay. Good to know. Some men need to be led. Well, I want to do a Madonna biopic with uh, Maddie. That's my yes. dream. There we go. So we're going to get that going. There we go. Just don't make me a handmaid again, please. Guys, tell me, where were you when you found out that you got nominated for an Emmy? I was in a market in Nigeria. I had my two nephews and my brother with me. It was very hustly busty. There were cars and buses passing us everywhere. So I was like in the middle of it. And I get this call and it's like, oh, everybody, have you heard the news? And I'm like, uh, wait, 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 uh, sorry, who's this? And they're like, oh yeah, have you heard the news? You gonna... And then I start, I'm walking through this market and I turn to my nephew. I'm like, I think someone just said I got nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> That's a miracle. Yeah. What about you, Maddie? Where were you? I was on set shooting this indie film um, in Rhode Island. And I had like kind of mentioned to some of the cast, like, oh, I'm like, I'm excited, like I want to hear about the Emmys and da da da, and I, you know, I obviously wanted to be nominated. Who could forget the girl with one eye? <laughs> Anybody who says that they don't care, they are lying, they care. <laughs> Except for Max, I think he means it. No, it's not that I don't care. It was so not on my radar. And I got also like OT, I got a call, but I assumed what they meant was the show had been nominated, which I was thrilled about. <laughs> the nicest part of this was so much of our crew on the show were acknowledged on a season that was genuinely a very challenging. Our most ambitious season we've done, and it was shot obviously under difficult circumstances. So that was really exciting to see so many people get, get included. Yeah.